and the key regulation that could have a big impact on wages is the minimum wage. So here you have once again uh, the US and so here we are looking at a um, regulatory at a regulatory determinant of our wages. So it means a regulation that has a big impact on wages. Um, and so that regulation, of course, here is uh, the minimum wage. So, of course, workers that have really high pay, the impact of the minimum wage on their salary is probably um, almost zero. But for workers who, of course, are on the minimum wage and workers that are just above the minimum wage, what the minimum wage does and the level of the minimum wage will have a, a big, big impact on, uh, on their wage. Uh, and so in particular, for all these workers who work at minimum wage, you know, the, you know, if we wanted to model that part of the labor market, the pricing function would be super simple. It would just be set the wage at the minimum wage. Okay? And that would also apply to workers who are just, you know, just above, uh, above that. Their wage is almost determined by the minimum wage. So this is just to give you a bit of context, this is just showing you the minimum wage in the US. And you have two different curves. Um, so you have the blue curve here. So this is showing you um, the minimum wage in current dollars. Okay? Um, so this is what we call the nominal minimum wage. Okay? Because it's as stated, it's stated in dollars at the time when, uh, when we are looking at the wage. Okay? And then we have another graph here which shows the minimum wage in 2012 dollars. Okay? So this is what we would call the real minimum wage because it's stated in a fixed uh, in a fixed currency. Right? It's, uh, so here this is basically the minimum wage once we've discounted the effect of inflation. So this is net of inflation. Okay, so this would be our real minimum wage. And of course, that's what matters. You know, when we want to think about um, uh, purchasing power for workers, when we want to think like what we can buy with that minimum wage, how much consumption we can get, what we care about, of course, is a real minimum wage. Uh, we don't really care about the nominal uh, minimum wage, which also is polluted if you want by uh, inflation, which has nothing to do with what we can buy with the minimum wage. Um, but anyway, so what we can see is that the minimum wage in current dollars, uh, the blue line, you know, it's something that always grows over time, of course, because the government updates the minimum wage to take into account the effect of inflation. Um, but it's something that stays stable for a long period of time and then is uh, just increasing in a stepwise function. And you can see that uh, the minimum wage didn't increase for a long time in the 90s and 2000s, and then there was sharp increase in the minimum wage here. That corresponds to uh, what happened during the Great uh, Recession. So there was a push around the time of the Great Recession to increase uh, the minimum wage uh, for workers. Um, so that's something that was implemented you know, at the beginning of the um, Obama administration. Um, okay, um, so that's, that's what happens. Uh, so that's kind of the, uh, that's showing you the federal minimum wage and then you can have uh, the minimum wage laws are quite complicated, but you can have minimum wage at the state level or at the local level. That's slightly different because states are allowed to impose higher minimum wage than the federal government. So you can see here, for instance, the minimum wage in the US here is just uh, about seven dollars. But of course, then um, states and uh, cities are allowed to impose higher minimum wage. So you have places where the minimum wage is as high as uh, $15, uh, for instance. Uh, so, in, for instance, in the Bay Area, in California, um, the minimum wage is much higher than $7. Um, it's right now $11 or $12, and there is a plan to get to uh, $15 in just in the next few years. Um, but something that, uh, that's quite striking, not directly related to what you do, to what we do, but something that's striking here is to, to look at the minimum wage in real terms, so, which is what, what's really interesting, that the minimum wage uh, that gives us the purchasing power of workers. And here, what's very surprising is that the minimum wage uh, peaked in roughly the 70s, 
here, um, which, you know, at the federal level here, we had a minimum wage that was above uh, $10 in 2012 and dollars. And then the minimum wage actually uh, fell in real terms uh, after that. And so you can see that now, here, the minimum wage in 2012 dollars is only at $7 dollars which is much less than the $10 that it was uh, in the 70s. And so, I, surprisingly, the minimum wage has, in, in real terms, so what we care about, if we think about purchasing power, the minimum wage has fallen quite significantly since the, 19, in the 70s. Uh, the minimum wage has fallen by roughly one third in real terms. So it means that people, you know, and th well, this is uh, quite amazing because, you know, Technology has increased a lot, so work, you know, workers have become way more productive at all, uh, in all places in the labor market. You know, you have, uh, now we have access to computers, we have the internet, you know, people have cell phones, you have much more robotization, you have much more automation, your infrastructure is much better. So any worker anywhere in the labor market is way more productive now than it was in the 70s. And despite that, people who are um, you know, at the bottom uh, of the labor market who work at minimum wage, their pay is 30% lower than what it was in the 70s. Although their productivity is way higher. Um, so there is really a sense in which on the labor market, you know, inequality uh, has really increased quite, increased quite drastically. Um, at least if we look at the federal minimum wage. Uh, because despite this large increase in productivity, People are paid much less than they were in the 70s, so that's quite striking. Um, it would be interesting to kind of compute uh, not only the federal minimum wage, but kind of an average minimum wage, taking into account local regulation. I, I don't have this graph, uh, but at least this kind of federal, federal minimum wage uh, graph is quite striking for that. So at least the federal government protects low wage workers much less today than it did uh, in the 70s. Um, which you know may, may have contributed to the increase in inequalities that we've witnessed since that time. Um.